guys thank you for tuning back into my channel it's your girl Q with another one I hope everybody is having a blessed Monday a prosperous one as well did you ever have that one dumb ass friend you know that one friend that nothing you tell her she just don't listen I got one of those friends my friend comes to my house on Saturday, and she has a boyfriend, right? She got a boyfriend. The boyfriend's in jail. He comes home in May. She's watching his son. But in this process of the boyfriend being in jail, another man moves into the rooming house that they live in. So now he moves in, and she jumps in a relationship with him. Now, it's been three weeks. You hear me, guys? Three weeks. Now, within three weeks, this man done dogged you out. That's number one. Threatened to kill you. That's number two. Put his hands on you. That's number three. Now, then you come to me for help. Not a problem. I do not condone in any type of abuse. I do not condone in any type of abuse when it comes from a man. I've been abused for seven years and I've lost a lot. So as I'm explaining it to her and she's explaining the situation to me, you know, I'm like, all right, let me finish making my curry go. And I'm going to come to your house with you. Okay, Qua. Boom. Honey. That girl left. Left her phone in my house and told me she was coming back. An hour and some change had passed. One of her roommates come to my house. Hey, Q. I'm coming to get her phone. So I'm like, okay. What happened? Did he hit her? She's like, No. But if you look in his eyes, he do want to hit her. So I'm like, all right, let's, you get, I, I'm not giving you her phone because we're going to walk down the block together. Good friend. I get in her house. She got her coat on because I assumed she was coming back to my house. I'm like, are you okay? She's sitting there like this in the corner. I asked her that three to four times unzips my coat because I'm like listen friend if you are not okay let me know cuz I'm gonna punch him in his mouth he's standing there with his hands behind him all right so I asked him what's the problem because if you are an abuser you need to let me know now you understand what I'm saying because we can end this Boom. Do you know that bitch had me looking stupid Saturday night? Okay. I go and check on her today and that bitch tells me, oh, we have an understanding. Well, bitch, the understanding is you got a man that's in jail. You taking care of his son and you got the next man around him. So... Not only are you content and happy with your new domestic violence relationship, you got your boyfriend's son in the house around this. That's not even your son. So you not thinking as a woman or a potential mother that I'm putting this boy in danger because this man is constantly trying to jump on me. So I told her today. I wash my motherfucking hands because I wish nine years ago I had friends to sit here and take up for me when my son's father used to beat me. You understand what I'm saying? I never had that. 
So when I feel when you have a friend that is passionate and genuinely sincere in that type of topic, you should take accept her help. She didn't accept my help. So today I walked out her, her house and I told her, I'm living my best life because, bitch, I don't got time for the extra curriculum activities that's down the block. You don't want to leave this nigga alone when he hit you. Hold on, guys. So I told her, when he start beating your ass for real and he starts belittling you, don't call me. Don't call me because you already cried wolf Saturday and had me looking stupid. For you to tell me on Monday the 18th that y'all got a motherfucking understanding. Ladies, my advice to you, to all you ladies who's, who's going through things with a man and you can't pinpoint the signs. Domestic violence, it's real. It's real. I lost a friend behind it. I lost a lot of things in my personal life behind domestic violence because I was young, dumb, and didn't know my worth. Now, I'm 31. I know what I want. I know what I stand for as a black queen. And I tried to drop that knowledge and these Jews off to my friend and it's going in one ear, out the other. Quad's done. I'm done. I'm done. Because you don't want my help. You understand? You don't want my help. I wash my hands. So ladies, when you start seeing the signs of yelling, number one, first sign is yelling. Second sign is control. Third sign is insecurity. Because an abuser has personal issues within they self. That they have to lash out on the person that they with. And love is not supposed to hurt. I repeat myself. Love is not supposed to hurt. Don't ever listen to a man and he tells you he loves you. But he could beat your ass and give you a black eye and have you walk outside. Because baby, that's not love. Love is blind. Okay? But for all my beautiful queens out there that do know they worth. Let's spread this word and teach these other ladies. How to value who they are as women. Because it's sad. Society got us fucked up as people, period. Because who the fuck told society that it's okay for a man to beat on his wife? Who told society that it's okay for a man to beat on a girlfriend? It's not right, and it has to be. It, it has to end. And I feel that people only touch the topic of domestic violence in October. Fuck that. Women are getting beat every day. As we talk now, about ten women have died from domestic violence. So let's make that aware. Let's make this an awareness not only for October Domestic Violence Month. Because right now, it's really people that's out here suffering. It's really women out here who have no voice. It's really women out here who's scared to walk out their house because of what their spouse may do to them. And we have to break the silence. We have to. We have to break the silence. We have to. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And I'm not used to just vlogging like this. So if you guys do want to know about my domestic domestic violence story, leave it in the comments below. And I will definitely do that for you guys because I have a testimony, honey. And I want to get it out. So if you guys do want to know about my domestic violence story and things like that and what happened to me just leave it in the comment box below and i'll definitely make a video about that you guys have a blessed day and i'll see you guys another time bye 
As I ended my video, I forgot to wish all you beautiful ladies across the globe, the nation, a happy National Women's Month. Let's represent for the month of March for all us women. Let's thank the women, our mothers, our grandmothers, great-grandmothers, Harriet Tugman, Helen Keller. Let's thank these ladies for making it possible for us today. Happy National Women's Month ladies.